Hey guys, what is going on? It's Cerny here from Noworthy Games, and today I'm so excited to bring you guys this absolutely amazing video. And so as you can see on the screen right here, I'm actually playing Grand Theft Auto 3 on my iPad, and I'm not even touching the display with my fingers. I am totally controlling it from my PS3 controller right here. All the buttons work, works so silky smooth, and for most of you guys, you've never heard of such a thing. You probably thought, whoa, you, how is that even possible, dude? Like, you can actually connect your PS3 controller to your iPad. See, I'm just owning up some guys on here. I can touch, it's so versatile. I can press any of my buttons I want. So good for gaming. Um, so in this video, I actually want to show you guys a full tutorial of really how to use your PS3 controller and how you can really connect it to uh, the iPad. It works perfectly, works great, so uh, without further ado, we're going to go through the process and I'm going to play some stuff at the end, so uh, be in tune for that. Alright, okay, so before I actually get into this tutorial, I want to mention something that you guys need two things available to yourself, and that's that you need a PS3 controller, and the next thing that you guys need is your iPad, of course, but the thing is your iPad actually has to be jailbroken. So, if you guys actually haven't checked out my jailbreak video for evasion, it's really helpful to do that. It'll teach you everything. There's an annotation on the screen and link in the description. Um, so, go check that out if you're not jailbroken already. But with those two things in mind, let's start the first step of how to do this thing. So, the first thing you need to do is go into City, of course, and you need to download this app called Blue Trail. Troll, actually. It's spelled a little differently. It's not actually blue. It's B-L-U. T R O L, and I'll have a name and description. But um, you need to download that for sure because that's gonna make everything happen for you with your PS3 controller. So I'm gonna tap it right now because I already have it installed. Okay. So immediately after we open the app, we're brought into the home screen, and on the bottom, as you can see here, we got the menu bar, we got games, controller, about, and what we actually want to go to first to actually connect the controller is controller, obviously. So we go to controller, and we got iOS Bluetooth over here and BT Stack. And not to mention, actually, we can like connect a whole bunch of varieties of controllers. You can see Wii Remote, Keyboard, iControl Pad, Phone Joy. But what we're concentrating on here is PS3 controller. So we're going to click on PS3 controller right here. And I'm already clicked on it because, you know, I'm already connected. But I can say Connect. And this is the screen you guys should be seeing. Activating BT Stack. And it's going to basically turn on your Bluetooth so we can connect with Wi-Fi. Now, if I click my PS button right here, it says I'm waiting for PS3 controller on this Bluetooth network, okay? What's happening is basically, you know how if you ever had a actually PS3 and you connect the wire into the PS3, it recognizes it through Bluetooth, so you can, you know, it basically puts a code into the controller itself to connect. So what we gotta do is, we gotta somehow get this code into this controller so we can um, basically connect it to the iPad. So what this has to do is, what we have to do is actually, we got to go on the computer and we're going to connect this and this into the computer at one time and we have to sync them together. So um, let's go over to the computer screen and we're going to see how we can do that. All right. So the first thing you need to do before you even connect your iPad or even your PS3 controller to your computer is you need to get one simple quick software on your computer from the internet. Um, so it can actually recognize the drivers from the iPad and the PS3 controller. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into Google Chrome, our web browser. You can go to Internet Explorer. It doesn't really matter. And what I did was I went to Google, and we need to get this application called Six Pair. All right, you can get it for the Mac or the PC. It really doesn't matter. But uh, I have a PC, so I'm going to type in Six Pair, and I'm going to go to their website. It's going to be the second one down. I'm just going to have a link in the description so you guys can get to it easier. So Six Pair tool. And it takes me to their website, and um, it says right here, if you're actually, it says Mac OS, you can download it. And since I'm on Windows 8, it says right here that, you know, there's a real problem. So you have to run it as administrator if you're on Windows 8. So the download link is actually right here. I'll have it in the description as well. So I'm going to click download, and it should download for me. So there you go. Downloads it, and I'm going to open it up right away. Let it load. Okay, so we're going to say yes. We're just going to say next to everything. That's what I do. <clears throat> uh, yeah, sure. I'm just going to replace it. Because I already have it, so I'm just showing you guys this. So replacing. Extracting the files. And uh, Okay, so this error message, if you're on Windows 8, is it is going to come up. So just say close. doesn't really matter. And it's actually going to come up again. And you say close again. And after it's all finished, you want to uh, go out and say finish. And this is what I did. I went to my library. I'm going to go into my C drive. 
Uh, if you're on Mac or something, most of you probably are, it's gonna be a lot easier. If you're on Windows 7, that's gonna be a lot easier. But for me, it's a little different. So I have to go into my uh, Windows 86. Just bear with me here, guys. Um, I'm gonna go into the six pair tool. And you can actually save it to your desktop, which I was stupid not to, but six pair tool, I'm gonna open it up. But remember, I have to run it as an administrator. So I'm gonna press right click, run as administrator. And the six pair tool actually shows that no device was found. So that means we have to connect our iPad and our PS3 controller directly into the computer. So let's do that now. So right now we're just gonna connect our iPad into our computer using the uh, standard USB cable for the iPad. And you know, this is available on the iPhone, iPod Touch too, so uh, don't worry about that. You know, you can do it on anyone. So after those two are connected, we're gonna connect the PS3 controller using its original USB cable, which is this right here. And right as we connect it, watch what happens. So now that it's connected, immediately it comes up on the six pair tool. It shows its current master code. It has this long code. And basically what we gotta do is to sync this PS3 controller's Bluetooth code to the iPads. It says we can change the master to, you know, whatever we really want. And um, what basically we have to do is on the iPad, it will have a code for you. If you're still on that same page, it's gonna have a code and you gotta type that in. So for instance, my code is 84, uh, colon two nine colon nine nine colon b a colon thirty four thirty four excuse me colon fifty five and now what we can do is we say update and watch what happens updates it immediately that's it we close the close button and now look what happens when I actually go on my PS3 controller. So unfortunately, uh, my previous controller actually just ran out of battery, so I'm not gonna use that one. Even though it has the right code on it, this one does as well, so I'm pretty lucky about that. Um, basically, when you have the same code on here as that, look what happens. When I press the PS button, it says waiting for your controller, and immediately turns on the one light, goes on, and it says controller connected. Um, hit the button to disconnect, which obviously I don't wanna do. So now we're really connected and everything, we got a connection sign we can go into basically we can go into the game section and we can add a game so this is kind of the trickiest part of this is actually configuring a game out um, I'll just gonna go into GTA for now I mean basically you can choose any game as you can see here you can choose all your games you can put controls everywhere I'm gonna show you guys right now you can actually configure your controls like every single button you can put on there depending on if you're doing portrait or landscape mode um, depending on the game you can actually take a screenshot of the game import it into this setting and then um, put all your controls like I put my left button or my left steering on here on the steering menu and then I put my right on the whole entire you know so I can look around the map easily it has a lot of versatility to the game you can put your square circle on any of the buttons depending on what game you have you know etc I put my start and select here uh, for the map and pause but really, as you can see in my uh, gameplay in the beginning of the video, it adds so much, like I said, versatility to the game. It's so silky smooth, makes it run so much better. I think it's almost better with a PS3 controller. If you get the hang of it, and if you actually do it right, you can get so much better at the game with using the controller like this. Um, I'm just going to press done right now. Go back, and we can actually see, I can take a screenshot as I did. I took a screenshot over there and imported it. So you guys can do that by doing just that like I did there. Um, but I place all the controls, yeah, and in the game actually, in GTA, there are like two settings. There's, you know, your running setting, um, when you're actually running, and then you have your getting in the car setting. So you, I actually had to take pictures of both of them, and import them, and put different controls for each one. So, that was what I did. Um, there are a lot of other games that you could do this for. I, you know, I'm a big Clash of Clans fan, and I know you guys are too. Probably some of you guys are watching my video right now. Um, I've tried this for Clash of Clans, sadly it like doesn't work. Uh, you can hook this up to your TV literally, you can make it a game system, it's actually super cool. I have an Apple TV so I can just airstream it over, I can start playing and this and that, so it's awesome. But um, you know, Clash of Clans, it has so many buttons, so many different things, uh, it's, it's really hard to actually get it to work. But the thing is, with this right here, it's open source, so that means that anybody could really add on to it, give more ideas, and um, at one point they might just be like, you know, you don't actually have to add configurations. It's all just, you know, within the actual application itself, which would be really cool. 
And um, that's another, you know, up for jailbreaking. So right now I just want to go back into GTA. And um, I'm going to put some gameplay at the end of this video. If you guys want to stick around and uh, watch it, then that's awesome. I'm just going to be playing with my PS3 controller here. But um, if you like the video, seriously give it a like. It took me some time to do this and figure out all this editing and stuff with the video. So uh, I hope you guys really liked it. And give it a like if you liked it. Subscribe, favorite, and comment on the video. And um, peace out, guys. See you later.